because you're one of the greatly beloved and valued sons. Mm-hmm. Um, you're called to be a father. 1 Corinthians 4.15 Paul, Paul wrote, Though you have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For the, in Christ Jesus I begotten you through the gospel. So, to come into the place of being a father, no. That is one of the things that are, I find that is missing, is to have this father and patriarchal heart of God. You know, when the father blesses, the authority is released and the identity is given to the sons. Mm. When Jacob blessed his 12 sons, he prophetically identified what they were going to do. Mm. And Moses was a father to the children of Israel and he blessed and decreed over the 12 tribes. Mm. Abraham was a father. So you're going to go into a journey of learning uh, to know God as father. But the first thing he wants you to do is just to be his little child. Mm. Okay? To sit in a little red wagon let Jesus pull you on that red wagon mm. and let him love you. Mm. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to drive in, don't try to do just let him come to you. Because to be a father in the way he wants you to be, you have to first learn to receive him. You don't have to be a child in his blessing. Mm. You know, you, you love your children. Yeah. You don't have to perform, they don't do anything, they just trust daddy. Mm. You know? Mm, I do, yeah. Okay, and you love it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Father God wants to do the same with you. Mm. Okay, He's going to come very close to you, and He's going to touch your heart, uh, uh, you know, and unlock certain areas because you are a heart man. Mm. Okay, people will be drawn to you uh, now, but they'll be drawn to you because they don't know what's going on. It's just that those rivers of living water will flow to to you, and He's going to restore your heart. Mm. And it's going to restore hope and buried dreams. Amen. It's going to restore childlike hope in you. Mm. Okay? And at the end of it, you're called to serve your generation by the will of God, like King David. Acts 13.36 For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell asleep. Mm. So, there's something noble and kingly about you. Mm. Okay, it's gonna work in your heart in a very beautiful way. Mm. It's gonna open up uh, areas in your heart that you think you did not even know is probably there. You may suspect it's there, but it's gonna really heal your heart. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You're gonna be one of those people that you might feel like, uh, oh, I'm getting soft, but you're gonna be soft but steely. Mm. Hard to express, but. You know, Jesus was no um, weak man. No. But he wept. Yeah. Okay, he was moved by the plight of the people. Mm. He was moved when his friend Lazarus died. Knowing that he was going to raise him from, from the dead, Jesus wept. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I do. He was identified with that. That's going to be one of those powerful things that's going to release the might of God in and through you in a very significant way. Mm. And uh, there's something about your bloodline. I know you told me you came from Romania and, and you know, you ran from Ceausescu and, mm. and all that. But people have prayed over you and prayed over you in a way that touched God's heart concerning you before you were born. Mm. So you've been set apart. Amen, yeah. Okay. You really have only begun to go on this journey, but learn the lessons of King David. Find out why he was a man after God's own heart. Mm. How quickly he said, I blew it. And how he ran after God. Danced in the presence of the whole of Israel. Even his wife got upset with that mm. exuberant kind of dancing. I'm yeah. not saying you're going to go into under close and do that. Your wife will say, stop it. But anyway, the, the, the point of the matter is that he was an extravagant lover of God. Mm. Okay? And... Um, when you get into the place where 
you move from being you're surrounded by often instructors mm. but yet God wants to raise you up as a patriot as a father mm. you know I, and that is a uh, very high honor because when father a father in a house a father in a city speaks the authority is released and the identity is established mm. and when the identity is established the devil comes muck around with the people one of the things that people find I find with a lot of Christians is that they do not know their identity they have an idea but they don't really know their identity so mm -hmm. Satan is able to come in and superimpose his false identity on them mm. so they're always guessing Mm. You know, they're always guessing. Mm. Always guessing my this or my that. Remember the three C's. Most people go for the course, C A U S D. I go for the course of Christ. Good and noble. Most people go for after that in churches, most people go for the callings. Brother uncle. There's something far higher than the course and the calling. The third C. Is the Christ mm. the person of Jesus? Oh, if you see, I, I remember uh, when I was, um, you know, I had a pretty 